Cass Milligan, uh, last we saw him, he was in Italy. He was doing a vlog from Italy with his wee girlfriend. I think her name's Gigi, right? Shout out to Gigi. And, um, we love this vlog. We only watched the first five minutes, but we ended with him here in a restaurant having cacio e pepe for the first time. I believe he called it cacio e pepe. And he wanted to ask for, he said, if, if we had some ketchup, this would be chef's kiss. And luckily his, his girlfriend stepped in and stopped that. But um, the camera also cut, so we don't know if he did, in fact, run over to McDonald's, grab a few packets, and then bring them back secretly. Okay. So we're back in Rome. We're going to watch a little bit more of this before bedtime. Let's just uh, relax, unwind. I'm all ready to fight someone after listening to Collie Bees. Uh, you know, Collie Bees inspired us all to be uh, so tough and gangsta. Uh, now we got to come back down to Earth. So um, <laughs> sometimes I uh, see Kaz is live on TikTok and I jump in there and say hello to him. But he's usually talking to some, <laughs> some idiots about, you know, these influencer boxing matches and it's just so boring i can't i can't tolerate it i won't delay it to enter my brain so uh, i like these vlogs though without further ado it's cos milligan back in rome See what he's up to. let's hopefully it goes uphill from here so i'll let you just a little refresher here we saw last week you bet it's eatable I, I can eat it i'm gonna ask for ketchup is that bad he's gonna ask for ketchup okay and at the start of this here he there was someone playing the accordion and he said, is that a saxophone? Is that a xylophone? Is that a recorder or something? He had no clue. He had no clue. And uh, I felt that we rushed on past that statement as well. And it was like, let's see, what, what part was this here? You were in this restaurant here. To this YouTube channel. Look at the scenes. What is that? A saxophone? No, what is that? A xylophone? A recorder or something? This is so wrong. Right, so, uh, okay, maybe, maybe we'll just say, say if you don't know what an accordion is, you don't know what an Irish squeeze box is, okay? Let's say, uh, okay, we'll, we'll tolerate him not, what is we'll tolerate him not knowing what the exact name for this instrument is, okay? Let's, let's just bypass that, okay? Th that might be one that you just don't know, he's never seen one before, okay? But it's not just he doesn't know what an accordion is. It's not just that he doesn't know what an accordion is. He also doesn't know what a saxophone is, what a xylophone is, or what a recorder is. Because those are three guesses as to what this thing is. A saxophone, no, what is it? A xylophone, a recorder or something. She's saying accordion and he's still saying, <laughs> he's still saying recorder, a xylophone, saxophone. So he doesn't know what either of those three things are either. He says those as she's saying accordion. He's not even embarrassed. Okay. Let's just continue. Let's continue. So we saw this last week. Let's continue with it. If you ask for ketchup, ketchup to put on that. Just, right, it is. Ketchup would make it mwah and it cuts. So she, uh, she stopped him from uh, getting it there before we look. Look at all his uh, costume jewelry. Day two, we're currently having breakfast now. As you can see, um, we have got tickets for the Coliseum, so we'll be going into the Coliseum and giving you guys a tour. Oh. I bet that lasts all of 30 seconds, him in the Coliseum. 100% in the next clip. This is in the Coliseum. It's very busy, though. And very, very busy. I had the whole place to myself when I went here. So that was just level one. We're still on level one, but now we're going to level two. And are the pubs? Are the pubs upstairs? Like the hallways are so. Uh, is he doing some kind of Carl Pilkington bit? Because he was going to put red sauce on pasta too. Yeah, well, we just spoke about that for fifteen minutes. Sick, as you can see behind me. How hard is this? Wait, so this is real people. <laughs> uh, look, we discussed this last week. He's not doing a bit when he's doing a bit. He makes sure to let you know he's doing a bit because he doesn't want his joke to go to waste. You know? It's the same with Paul Morrissey. When they're doing a bit, you know they're doing a bit because they tell you during the bit, I'm doing a bit here. Now, I love Cos Milligan like a brother, but 
It's dumb as a bag of rocks. Louis, these people are from the second century. That's are these real people? He thinks these are skulls. He thinks this is what you look like under your skin. Wait, the year 2000. No, wait, we have to... the year 2000. 2000. The year. Wait, yeah, the year 2000. That's when they're from. That's when the Colosseum was um, knocked down. That's when gladiators were banned. Century. 200. Yeah. This guy must have lost his battle, but this, these people are from the year two. This guy must have lost his battle. He thinks this, <laughs> he thinks this guy lost the battle because he had half his head cut off. That's what we're watching here, people. People have been watching too much M.R. Everybody, Rare Rich, this is not, this is not a called Pilkington bit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Remember how much we learned about him during his documentary? That's another one up on the uh, Connor G. Show archives. Support the Connor G. Show. We watched his entire documentary over, over the course of a couple of episodes. And it was like, this is him. This is him. He's dumber than the sculpture, says RMS Art. Sorry about this, Kaz, but come on, mate. Someone has to say this. What do the comments say? It says very much. Okay, good call. Didn't use your channel points, but okay. Uh, um, awesome trip, guys. The instrument playing in the restaurant is an accordion. Very Italiano. Would have loved to seen you get up and have a dance. Take GG Ballroom dancing. Blah, 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 blah. Love watching your vlogs. Me too. Uh, notice to all visitors. Putting ketchup on pasta and pizza here is considered a capital sin. Yep. Uh, the Howler's Ancient is Ronnie Rotten. Trevor, you and Hawaii 5 0 sends regards, blah, blah, blah. Looks so good. You really look great. And Lilac Hotel is massive. It looks sick. Uh, architecture. Yes, this is one. Uh, this is one we forgot to uh, hone in on. He calls it architecture instead of architecture. Uh, I'm sure that was just a misspeak. Uh, <laughs> My boy Twitch sent this video to me on the group chat ting. And why is this man trying to act more English than the blah, 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 blah. All right, let's continue. Hundred. This guy must have this lost guy his... must have lost his battle, but... He thinks these are skulls. He thinks this is Mount Vesuvius and the bodies have been cast in, you know, volcanic plaster of Paris. This, these people are from the year 200. What? Humans were alive. That's mad. That's Humans were alive 200 years ago. <laughs> now, the, ju just the fact that you said, is he doing a bit? He will turn around and say, yeah, of course I was doing a bit. He's not. But he will use that as an excuse. If, called, if he sees this, he's going to say he was doing a bit. I'm guaranteeing you he's not doing a damn bit. It's him. It's what he's like. This is why he's, This is why we know about him. This is why people know who he is. Remember, he dropped out of school, says Rob. I mean, you know, plenty of people drop out of school and have their brains intact. All right, let's continue. <laughs> insane. Wait, so how are they stoned, though? They just recreated the, their skull. Ah, he's nice. How are they stoned, though? So, in <laughs> uh, it's the way it's edited to have his most ridiculous point at the end of each clip, though, says Rare Witch. Oh, don't give him the out, because he will take that. But look, here, what I was saying, right? He thinks these are actual skulls. He's just realized that they're not, right? So that's how you know he did think that, but uh, his thought process has moved along here. Uh, if this stuff made it through, I'd hate to see uh, what was edited out, yeah. Listen. Wait, so how are they stoned now? They how are they stoned though? Just recreated the, their skull with stone. Look, she's not laughing. If he was joking, she'd be giggling uncontrollably. I'm assuming. <laughs> We've just discovered what sculpture is. We're in year 2000, and mm -hmm. they donies are for the year 200. 100. 100? Yeah. Oh. It would be in the second century. Oh, second century, so like 108. Yeah. <clears throat> that is insane. Now, this is the view we've been waiting on. Gigi, that is stunning. Is he sterile, says Steve Mann? 
That's hot. Boy, look at this. There you go. That's what that's what it's all about. Uh oh, caught it there. Let's pop that on. Let's let you continue now. We found a little quiet place where the view is absolute stunning. There's not as much people. Ah, it's silent. Oh, and look how amazing it is, man. I'm still like. And I think it's better from the outside. Oh, shop about for tickets rather than just like getting your first deal. We got offered tickets for the Coliseum for 50, then we found it for 29. And the 29, the cheaper one, we got. Co <laughs> this, the, the skin smoothing technology sort of sometimes it, it, uh, it takes a second to catch up to where the face has moved to, and then it smooths over again. Coliseum, the form, and somehow I don't know what any of this is, but it's a better deal. So do not just like. Buy and your first tickets. Book in advance. Book in advance. At least he can appreciate aesthetics, so not totally brain dead, says Rob. I think, right? I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I think he... I'm not calling him a psychopath, but I do think he goes through the motions of what he thinks normal people are supposed to say when they see something like this. Honestly. We yeah. came yesterday and they were all sold out. I disagree. I believe someone was trying to scam them. So hard that is. Look how hard that is. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, shut up and enjoy the Coliseum. Like, imagine listening to him there. But yeah, he's doing a vlog. He is doing a vlog, right? Oh, this is hard. So that is. The forum. Is that the forum? But this whole thing's a forum. That's the, that's the Glasgow forum. That's the Hammersmith Apollo down there. Yeah. I don't know what the forum was until I got here. Is this whole thing a forum? That's the forum. All ah, right, right, cool. He asked. He just asked a child. We're now going to go to the zoo. And so his Coliseum lasted all of what's that? Seven nineteen. What did I say? Thirty seconds. So we'll skip that first bit. Okay, there's 606. Look at that. <laughs> about a minute. About one minute of a 22 second Rome vlog was dedicated to the Coliseum. Yeah, he walked up there like he was imagining he was Emperor Nero there, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, let's take another look at that. Look, this is mine. And they were all sold out. Come look at this here. She was his classroom assistant before he dropped out, says d -Man. Okay, don't say anything about his girlfriend, please. I know that was a diss at him, not her, but yeah. So hard that is. Damn. Look how hard that is. <laughs> Incorrect describing. So that Description. Is the forum. Is that the forum? But this whole thing's a forum. Yeah. I don't know what the forum was until I got here. Is this whole thing a forum? That's a. Is this whole thing a forum? Is this whole thing a forum? Forum. All ah, right, right, cool. We're now going to go to the zoo, and we'll take you around the zoo. And then, by the way, tomorrow, Trevi Fountain. Spanish steps. Spanish steps. Shopping. Louis Vuitton. Prada. Dior. Get me. Come on. You can't afford that stuff, guys. I'm not. That's not a diss. Right, that says at the zoo at the entrance. I'm not going to lie, it's so quiet. <laughs> See, man says he was asking the entire trip if things were a forum. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> he points at the accordion. He, uh, is this a forum? <laughs> how dead it is. Oh. There's literally nobody here, so, so far, I'm going to be honest, my expectations are not very high. Just See, all his opinions are based on what he thinks other people are going to think, right? So there's nobody here. You, A normal person would say there's nobody here, and you go, oh, thank God. But he's like, yeah, it's not going to be really grand. From how quiet it is at the entrance, but we're going to take you through the zoo. What's this called? <laughs> What are you going on about, guys? Oh, what are you going on about, man? 
Oh, God, man. Oh, what do you like, man? Oh, I can't, I can't be doing this here. Cars, 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 cars. Cars, 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 cars. Cars. So I love that he's like, what's this called? As he points at the name of the thing. Unbelievable. Kaz, what are we going to do with you, son? Quiet is at the entrance, but we're going to take you through the zoo. What's this called? What's this called? It's written right there. Let's see. No, but like this, information. Mm -hmm. Right, this is like an information board and it tells you- Oh my god! No, I do not blame you for thinking he's putting on a bit, but... He is consistent! This isn't- this isn't a money boy is he isn't he type situation! He is! He's like this! This isn't a bit! If it's a bit, he's, uh, you know... He's the greatest comedian of our generation! Looking at the Italian spelling for tiger and thinking we don't have them in Scottish zoos, says Steve Mann. <laughs> at the entrance, but we're going to take you through the zoo. What's this called? A zoo. No. <laughs> oh, his girlfriend. See, again, again. That's how you know it's not a put on. That's how you know it's not a put on because he goes, what's this called? As he points at the name to it. But then his girlfriend is so used to this. She's so used to it. Without missing the beat, she goes, Azu. So she knows what he's like. She's ready to answer questions like this for him. What's that instrument called? Is this called... What's this, a forum? Is this whole thing a forum? What's this? She goes, Azu. You're telling me... You okay. Let's continue. God bless this wee girl, by the way. The entrance, but we're going to take you through the zoo. The, see, if he wasn't with her, there would be dirt all over his face. His fingernails wouldn't be trimmed. You know. People would have tricked him out of all his money. He would be wearing a barrel in the streets. He'd be wearing a sandwich board. If she wasn't with him. What's this called? I see. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Gigi. God bless you for putting up with this here. A zoo. No, but like this. Information. But I love that... Right, this is like... I love that the clarification is even funnier, like... Like, he... Yes, this is a zoo. And then he's like, no, but all this... Is this called information? I'm so glad I decided to continue watching this tonight. This is better than I could have dreamed. I haven't pre-watched this or anything. But look at that. We've already... We've only got... Three minutes in, two minutes in, it goes so hard. Uh, gas man, this must be the boiler, bro. Look. Yeah. Okay. But let's continue. I, you know, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel queasy. I don't know how to, I don't know how to articulate my emotions right now. Let's see. <laughs> oh, there's some, been some priceless lines in this here. Is this whole thing called a forum? Uh, the guy who lost his bottle. Look, this guy must have lost his bottle because he had half his head chopped off. It's stone. People existed 200 years ago. <laughs> RMSR says, let's just say she's likely not attracted to his wit. So what's this called? A zoo? No. Is this information? Is this information? No, but like this. <laughs> Asking the chef, so you're user, user the one that cooks the food then. Information. Mm -hmm. right <laughs> He's so innocent too. Look at his wee face and all. I love this man. This is like an information board and it tells oh, you- Oh, thanks for- thanks for letting us know. I love that he's telling his vlog watchers this is an information board after asking someone, is this information? Like, as if there's any information that he has. I love that, like, she's like- she's like a- she must be feeding him his lines, you know? She is the cameraman as well. I wouldn't be surprised if she edited this too. 
What's all here? My expectations are already like getting higher because look, there's wolves, bruv. I've never seen a wolf in real life. Brown bears, bruv. And then elephants, lions, hippos. The elephant? At the end, the last one. Elephant. I hope they're all uh, snoozing, nocturnal animals. Like there's literally every animal in the world. And if <laughs> there's literally every animal in the world, it's Noah's Ark they're visiting. Of course, now a goat is entering the zoo. Look at these. Of course not. See, that's the type of joke he makes. Makes now the goat is entering the zoo. You see? Big monkeys. Look. Big monkeys. Huh? If he says the the real name of these animals, I'll be so impressed with him. They're gonna fight. He must be like the. He's the daddy. There's the boss man. Hello. Oh. It's a cow. Aren't Hello. You a curious boy. Oh my god, this is beautiful, G. Oh my god, absolute gorgeous. Sounds like he dubbed these uh, lines in after. Oh, you missed it. Oh, he's wanting some alone time. I better leave him in it. Is that a cheetah, G? Is that a cheetah? Because cheetahs are my favourite animal. He doesn't know what his favourite animal looks like. Is that a cheetah? Because cheetahs are my favourite animal. Is that a cheetah? The fastest animals in the world, I'm sure. Something's telling me these aren't cheetahs. These strike me as more leopards than cheetahs, right? Look at this big boy. He's playing with the tires, I think. Oh, is there a stash of food in there? That's where he's hid the food. He's hid the food in there, G. Look at the size of that cat, GG. So what he's done, he's obviously seen the other elephants, right? They're maybe scranning the food first. So he's like, I'm going to hide them. I'm going to stash the food. He stashed them in there. So I love that he thinks that this uh, elephant has stashed the food in there and that a zookeeper just didn't put it in there for him to be taking it out. You know, as a wee game, you know. <laughs> and now the elephants are probably in bed or sleeping. The, the elephants are in bed. They're tucked up in bed like the three, the three little pigs. Snuck out. <laughs> Go ahead, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Trust. David Attenborough talked about that. Yeah. Oh, look hold on, hold on. Shut up. Snuck out. Go ahead, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Trust. David Attenborough talked about that. Oh, look how sick that is. Oh, look how sick that is. Imagine hearing him walking past you. How can you not know the difference between a cheetah and a leopard, says Ducky Mio? I don't know, but they do actually look similar, do they not? I don't know. I was being very careful there. <laughs> uh, never watched a David Attenborough in his life. He doesn't know the difference. He's going to turn around, you're going to get frightened. <laughs> How stunning is that, though? He's stunning. Hello. Oh, he's coming to say hi, G. You're gorgeous. Hello. Oh, stunning, G. He expects oh, he's it to posing for us, G. Look. Oh my god, should we take our own uh, Oh, he's posing for us. What a legend. Still. Thumbnail. Oh my god. Terrible, out of focus. Oh, there's another one. This is a pretty good zoo, actually. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. Oh my god, like! Yo, Wagwan Ku? Trust. <laughs> Tell everybody to subscribe right now. Tell them to subscribe, Ku. Oh no, he's giving me daggers cut. Oh! Hello! Oh, she's gorgeous. Wow. Stunning. Can you imagine if this was Paul Morrissey? Every shot would be out of focus and he'd just be filming the, the zookeeper's chest. Hello. Do you like Hello. Ronaldo? Here we've got the goats, my brothers. They were just scrapping though. I don't know if they're going to continue. Oh, they literally just headbutted each other. All right, a couple more minutes and we're going to wrap it up for the night. We've made it 10 minutes in of a 22 minute view. Can't watch it all. Simply don't have it in me. Second ago. Oh. Come on in, you. Get Dave out your mouth. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's foot stuck, oh G. <laughs> oh no, come on, let go of your sicko. Oh my god. He is a bully. Oh wait. Uh, don't follow this uh, Instagram account called Nature is Metal. Kaz. Oh, yeah, he's coming stick up for Oh! Scraps, cur. 
Uh, what a legend. Stuck. I like that he tur I like that he must have been watching a lot of blue face videos. Got for her, come on. Hello. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. I'm one of you. It's okay, I'm one of you. I'm also a goat. So we just went and seen the goats and I just feel bad because I'm the lucky one that escaped. I'm the only goat that's free roaming on TikTok, building businesses, getting rich for a gorgeous girlfriend. So I had to just go back and say free up my jeans. Here we've got the bear. A lot of people say if they had to bet against me and a bear, they'd probably put their money on me winning. I would never harm an animal, by the way. But if it came to it, I mean, I've, I reckon I'd win. Yay. <laughs> Funny, yeah. That, now that's a, a joke that he's done there. Hey. No, he's a good boy. Yeah. That's the type of comedy Kaz does. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, he's playing. We're playing games with him, G. Yeah. Do you know what I mean he's been bored all day? Everybody just probably coming saying, "Hey, picture, picture, picture." We actually <laughs> tried to interact because see me, I'm going to be honest. Like, see, ever since we've come in the zoo, I kind of feel bad. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I do feel bad for the animals. I don't know yeah. if I'll ever come to a zoo again, but this is why we're trying to interact, make them have a. I like the thought that this is the first zoo he's ever been to, and now he's been like, "I won't be, I won't be going to a zoo again." I feel bad for the animals. That's how you should feel. <laughs> That's how you should feel. Yeah. yeah, he looks like such. And then he tries to scare it. It's a good boy. Try to interact, make them have a look. Look, he tries to do a sudden movement to scare the bear here. A bit of fun, eh? Yeah. He looks like such See? a good boy. He is a good boy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Scottish tourist in Italy gets eaten to death after climbing into a bear enclosure for Instagram live video. That's how I can see someone like Kaz meeting his end. Oh, is that what I'm saying hi? Probably. Would you? No, wait, I've got Probably, a question for you, right? We're out, no, in fact, we're here right now. This glass falls. The bear automatically anger mode. No. Like that. <laughs> no, like, yeah, no, like that. Just the theoretical. Do you get me? No, <laughs> wait, 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 Kaz. You're not getting away with saying theoretical. All right, so let's 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 uh, let's work through this. Let's play this game with him. Let's uh, work through this theory with him here. This glass falls. The bear automatically anger mode. No, like that. He would no, be like, angry. no, like, just the theoretical. Do you get me? No, no. Hypocritical. <laughs> hypocritical. Theoretical. No, like that. Would... No. Now this, that's funny. That bit. No, like, no, like, just the theoretical. Theoretical. God bless you for trying, Kaz. God bless you. I always think you should do that if you're on camera, if you're on, you know, doing a performance or whatever, you muck up one of the words. Ply through as if you meant to say it like that. Hypocritical. Okay. Hypocritical. No, he knows, he knows. He's... Nah, he's joking. No. Right, so the bear, boom! I who did I think was tattooed in his arms to talking me off? Um, was it someone from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Simon? Or something? Angry. Are you confident that I'll protect you against this yeah. guy? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oi, big ups Bob, lad. Come on, he's excited now. Bye, okay. Bob. Bye. 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 We've just came to this restaurant. <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful, by the way. Okay, we're going to call it a night after we see what he orders here in this restaurant, okay? That's going to be the end of our night. Okay, everyone? So get all you need out of this this last scene here. Maybe we can finish this off on, uh, on another show. A uh, three-parter. A trilogy. So here we go. It's Kaz, day two in Rome. It's called um, Class. It's near the trivia. Class. How very fitting for yourself. Chicken nuggies. I got this pizza and then Gigi got green no green no. Uh, pasta. So it's Hers looks nice. His looks stinking. Cheese ravioli with pistachio and pesto sauce. They give him. They gave him a frozen pizza. They gave him Dr. Otker. Pistachio and pesto sauce. The lady is in with her little... <laughs> no, no. Okay, nice though. 
Mmm, really nice. So I feel like he edited out a complaint there, like, tastes like a frozen pizza, and then it cuts and it goes, nice though. Nice though. Nice though, so that's like, he's just said something negative, which he cut out, and then he just put in Chicago Town, says Ducky Mio. He just put in nice though, because nice though is something you say after you say a disparaging comment, right? Mmm, really nice. Eats with his mouth open, you think? Cheers with his mouth open? Nice. Really? What does it taste like? What's the green stuff? Taste my pistachio. Do you want to taste it? I'll taste it. Look at how he eats, by the way. Do you remember when he was eating that cachoe pepe? He was like forcing it in like a drunk man eating super noodles. That's no for me. He doesn't like pasta. We ascertained that. No. <laughs> Steve Mann says he asked you, otherwise he couldn't breathe. Eat with his mouth open, you mean? Listen, I've tried all these pastas since I've been here. Yeah, good on you for trying at least, Kaz. I've never been a pa He was eating like a wee five-year-old, says Ducky Mio. Yes, 100% uh, agreed. Pasta man, and everybody's like, go eat Italy. Have pasta in Italy, you'll become a pasta man. I'm not a pasta man, cuz. <laughs> you get me? I'm a pizza man, bro. Stop saying cuz, please. Stop saying bro, also. Oi, Trevi Fountain Gang. Oh, look. How stunning that is. No, oh, cute man. That's stunning. Right, we're going to make a quick wish at the Trevi Fountain. Okay, we're going to end it after the wish here. Look how beautiful this is. I'm surprised you didn't spit it into your hands. It's talking me off. Man, absolutely stunning, right? Sorry for the audio. Right, you ready? Okay. Right. Three, two, two, two one. one. We're going to come back tomorrow morning and let... Like, we're going to come at like five or six in the morning. And collect your wish. That's how he thinks it works. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish for Kaz and Gigi's long lasting love and happiness. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed a thrill ride of hilarious douchebags across the internet. Not Kaz, though, we like Kaz. We like Collie B as well. Everyone else can go get. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight. This has been the Connor G Show.